So here's Alan. He sets out to write books. Okay, now we're going to get into the books. <laughs> All right, The Invention of the White Race. All right, two volumes. Go on. S scholars. Scholars, here's five of them right here, have described Alan's work as a classic. I, for those who came in early, I had 55 quotes from different people on the, how important this work is. They're on my web page. You can read them with photos. You should read what people say about this work. He says, I begin this work with one assumption. While some people may desire to be masters, all are, unborn, are born equally unwilling. That basic egalitarian premise, and from that, all else will follow. All right, volume one, here's, um, here's the contents, and uh, I highlighted a few things. He's talking about racial oppression, social control. He's talking about Ireland, I'll explain why in a second, Sean. Uh, very thoroughly documented with his footnotes into marriage, Mountjoy's starvation strategy for Ireland, Scottish slavery, um, English plantations, go on. Allen has precision with words. Again, I want to do these next three words just to give people a little food for thought since these are things we might hear out there often. He subtitled volume, one, uh, volume two, the origin of racial oppression in Anglo-American. Not the origins. Origin. Singular. Sean? He goes, origin has the desired specificity, like Darwin's origin of species and Engel's origin of the family, right? I meant it to be consistent with the argument of the book. It's rooted in class struggle, the system of racial oppression that's imposed, right? It's not some, it's not uh, any pre natural or pre American prejudice. It's, it's origin, not origins. Next. On whiteness. This is an, I, I worked 33 years, Bulk Mail Center in Jersey City. A lot of places. I never heard this phrase once until <laughs> you know, they come to the academy, right? But people talk about it all the time now whiteness, right? And Alan, just so you know, he personally stayed away from the phrase. He explained it's an abstraction, it's an attribute of some people, it's not the role they play. The white race is an actual objective thing, not biological, but political. It functions. It, and he goes, it's historically developed identity of Europeans. It functions and it has to be dealt with, right? To slough it off under the heading of whiteness, to me, seems to get away from the basic white race identity trauma. One last Alan on words, and then we get into the story.